Welcome back to WebSign TV, I'm Ben Lefebvre. Today I'm with Garth O'Brien from GoDaddy, and we're gonna we're gonna speak about SEO. Thank you very much for being with us, Garth. Thank you. Welcome. And um, so first of all, GoDaddy is everywhere, but where exactly? So which country Project. are you targeting? Uh, I think we're in about 48, 50 markets. Oh, only. So we're all over. <laughs> uh, and we just launched three new um, Indian languages. Okay. Like last week, I think. So we continue to expand. So we're all over Asia, all of Europe, all of South America, North America, uh, New Zealand, Australia, pretty much everywhere. Okay. So actually it would be better to maybe list the countries you're not in. <laughs> Say probably, I'm not sure if we have much play in the Middle East or Africa yet. But yet, okay. But, uh, yeah, we're everywhere else. Okay. So one of the biggest challenges for uh, SEO is geotargeting. So um, how do you do that? So I joined GoDaddy March of 2015. So I've kind of walked into a, a situation where they're already at a subdomain level approach. Yeah. Uh -huh. So UK .godaddy Uh huh. Uh, ca.goday.com. The best way to do it, obviously, is a country top level domain. Yeah, okay. That definitively tells the search engines this is a UK site, this is an Irish site, this is a German site. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. So we're at the okay. subdomain approach. Um, and it's a struggle and a challenge. Uh, you know, a few things we're trying to launch is hreflang tags yep. for sitemap XML files. Mm -hmm. uh, we just deployed in our open HTML tag. Uh, the hreflang country and locale target. We go into all the webmaster tools, Bing, Google, Yandex, Baidu, when we need to, uh, and set the geo-targeting for all our websites that we register. Um, the one thing that happened recently was there was someone had at requested that they remove the two-digit ISO code at the end of our title tag branding. So our branding is, the end of the title tag is space dash space godaddy and then UK for obviously United Kingdom, DE yeah. for Germany. That was removed for about a week. And <clears throat> we saw tons of problems immediately. Uh, our UK page was not showing up in the UK Google, but the India page was. Um, we saw a lot of traffic from Ireland kind of go away. It didn't really go away, it just moved to the UK yeah. site. And so we quickly uh, redeployed that and immediately saw things come back into, into balance. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the sitemap XML files that are about to launch. So one little thing can actually impact yes. the full yes. website or the full approach? Oh, yes. Okay. And um, I mean, how big is your team for that? Because I guess you must have quite a lot of people working on it. Yeah, so I have uh, three uh, SEO seats um, and then uh, a developer on the team. Yeah. Um, one of my team members just got back from maternity leave. She'd been out for four months, uh -huh. and then we have a vacant seat. So it's kind of just been myself and Casey Carpenter holding down the fort for four months. Whoa, okay. Uh, which is, yes, uh, a big challenge. Uh -huh. So uh, I, I've, I've done a lot to change the company culture for SEO since I got there. I went mm -hmm. on this six-month roadshow of training everyone I could that was responsible for building websites and producing content. Now the focus is day one they come to us most of the time instead of on the evil launch. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just one instance where I don't know how, but somehow the request came in, remove that uh, two-digit ISO code in the title tag, and <laughs> I found it after they had removed it. Okay. So, but yeah, the team, the teams, the development teams, and our content management system teams. I, it, it was just a, a mistake. I mean, they all usually raise their hand and say, "Hey, has this been run by?" Yeah, by the SEO team. Yeah, um, somehow this one's just sneaked by. So I, I guess that's <laughs> how you make sure that there is consistency in terms of SEO globally. Yes, you need to go through your team and everything first. Anything that is being done in the uh, kind of development team or anything like that needs to go through you first. Yes. Okay, just yes. to make sure that. And that's the key, um, and I learned this the hard way for many years through the agency and doing in-house before I ended up at GoDaddy. Is, if you don't do the training and the awareness and the evangelism, mm -hmm. you're just plugging holes in a ship that keeps filling up yeah. with holes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so doing this kind of roadshow training and exposing everyone responsible for publishing or building websites, 
that changes their mindset and they start actually seeing, oh, I've been doing it wrong. If I just do it a little bit different, mm -hmm. now I get more discoverability and visibility in the search engines. And I always hammer into them, go mm -hmm. to the SEO team, bring us aboard, we'll react quickly and we'll set you up right. Mm -hmm. And that's how you position it is, we're gonna help you and you're gonna shine and you're gonna get more visitors, yeah. more revenue, mm -hmm. and everyone's gonna think you're awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then once they hear that, now they become kind of a friend and they yeah. want to engage you. Yeah. Because everyone wants to be awesome at work. Of course, yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. Yep. And um, so that's the kind of technical part of it. What about content? How challenging is it? Very challenging. No, no, it's not at all. I mean, like just like for five, like 50 countries or something like that, it must be very easy. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, <laughs> it's so expensive. Uh, yeah. We're, we're struggling with that right now. Because uh, you really can't go machine translation because yeah. Google doesn't mm -hmm. like that. Um, and we have, I think, 4,500 help articles. Okay. And before I got to GoDaddy, uh, or the approach was support.godaddy.com. It was a US website and we had mm -hmm. some translation feature. Yeah. It was not an international site. We didn't have international folder structures, so it was really just a US site. Mm -hmm. uh, we've migrated all that content onto our country domains. So it's like .com, whack help. Um, all, obviously all the English sites got all 4,500 articles. Mm -hmm. After that, it's, I think some sites have a couple hundred, maybe one site mm -hmm. has a thousand. Mm -hmm. it just depends on where the revenue is. Because translating 4,500 pieces of content is very expensive, times mm -hmm. you know, 35 or so. So how do you do that? What, what, what do you, We're, do you have people in house for that? Or do you have people? Uh, I believe the international team uses um, translation agencies, localization yeah. agencies. Okay. And okay. so now we're, we're trying to de dig deep and figure out, okay, is there a way to expedite and reduce the cost of getting yeah. this content out there? Uh, Rob Ashby from, he was from, I think, Office, uh, Office support, he's on GoDaddy support team and mm -hmm. he's got quite a few things up his sleeve that uh, might get us there. Okay. So we work closely with the support team and figure out how do we get this to happen because our customers need that support article. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, it's just so expensive. Yeah, it is. And then so <coughs> you've got the, um, the, the articles for those countries and everything. Do they have to go through you again for the SEO perspective? Or no, we do you train the other team to make sure that they have SEO friendly content? Or yeah, we've so the help articles are easy. Yeah, it's a template. Yeah. We make sure the template's optimized mm -hmm. uh, and we train them and say, you know, look, the keyword is the f target focus of the, the article. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. how to recover my password. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the keyword. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and so it's help is there's really no stress for SEO there. Mm -hmm. um, where SEO helps a lot with help is finding the places of, hey, I'm seeing a lot of search volume here. We've looked at our internal site search statistics. Mm -hmm. We see that same question pop up and we don't see an article. Mm -hmm. So you guys need to obviously publish this article. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, once you kind of optimize the template and you've trained the, the staff, help is not usually a big problem for SEO. Okay. From experience, do you have any tips to give to like a company who is struggling with dealing with like 50 countries or something like that? Do you have any tips top of your mind? If you can, start off with a country top level domain. Yeah, that would uh, be the first, first maybe, one. So that's your main struggle main, <laughs> on your side, yeah. Because yeah. that means, like I said, there's, there's no question the yeah. geotargeting is solved immediately. If you have to go to a folder structure, subdomain, then you have to do as many and as all geotargeting tactics as possible. Because mm -hmm. they're all just little hints and sometimes Google take it, takes it, sometimes they don't. Mm. Um, but the more you deploy, the greater your chances. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I had a friend at um, Office say when they deployed the two-digit ISO code, uh, country codes at the end of their title tags, they saw like a 15% increase in mm -hmm. more local traffic hitting the local site. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I've heard it's only been 10% for another big company. So mm -hmm. it, it just, it varies. It yeah, okay. there's, there's no surefire way outside of the country top level domain. So if you're gonna go folder structure or subdomains, you've got to do all those tactics as possible. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now the benefit with the folder structure is you're concentrating all the inbound link and authority and social yeah. share activity mm -hmm. to one domain. Mm -hmm. um, we launched uh, APAC, a series of countries in APAC um, in February, and they're brand new websites. Mm -hmm. 
sure it's on godaddy.com and they get some boost with that, mm -hmm. but it's still a brand new website. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and I see the trajectory and organic traffic from sites we launched 18, 20 months ago where first year was a little rough and now all of a sudden they're taking off because okay. they're getting links because people mm -hmm. now are aware of GoDaddy in that market. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, if I had to do it uh, over again, if we couldn't do country type of domain, <clears throat> I'd probably do folder structure. Okay. But you still can be successful with subdomains. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for yeah. the tips and thank you very much for the conversation. No problem. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.